Adam J. Here we go, Chris. Live now. Uh, we had our uh, officers uh, make We're contact with the individual. They uh, going right entry here. into the home. That's yeah, what you heard when you heard the explosion. Uh, gunfire exchange Listen between the suspect the and our now. SWAT team. Um, the suspect is deceased at this time. Uh, one of our officers was injured with a gunshot wound. He was transported to the hospital. Uh, here's that's going to be uh, non-life threatening. Uh, as well as the uh, firefighters. There were four firefighters that were injured, but they were all superficial wounds. They're all going to be okay. They're going to be going home tonight. Uh, the officer, uh, we're going to check him out, make sure he's going to be okay, and, and he'll be going home eventually as well. Uh, the suspect is deceased. Uh, it appears that the fire department was called out there originally. We don't know if it's going to be a, a fake heart attack or if he was actually suffering from some, some type of medical condition. Uh, but when they uh, made entry into the home, they were taken hostage by him. And then he started making demands. These demands were to have his power turned back on. Apparently, he's going through some financial issues, and the power was uh, turned off along with the cable and cell phone and so on. And he wanted all those things turned back on, and that's why uh, he was holding him hostage. Uh, we're still in the deep in this investigation. This is all I have right now. As we get more information, we'll be able to release it and the uh, officer's identity and maybe the firefighters at a later date as well. How did this individual die?